Hi, Mike Thompson here, otherwise known as Glider Guider One on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you a glider that you can take apart and put together. Now, why would you do that? So you can put them away easier. So you can make bigger, more awesome planes and still not have them take up your entire house. Because I know you want to do other things than build and fly walk along gliders 100% of the time. Take your two wing halves and lay them exactly on top of each other. Match all the edges like so. After you have them lined up on top of each other, you're going to cut several slits into the base of the wings. The slits are going to be about 3 eighths of an inch long going into the foam and approximately 1 quarter inch apart. Keep the scissors perpendicular or square to this long edge here while you're cutting these small slits into the foam. This foam here you'll notice is uh, blue insulation foam like they use for houses. This is a heavier foam than the time warp foam that we use for the slowest, lightest walk along gliders. But this heavier foam is much better suited to this joint technique. I'm going to take the two halves and what I need to do now is bend alternate tabs up from all these slits that I cut. So I'll start on this half. These ones I'm bending up and on the other wing panel, we're going to bend them down. Now we take our wing halves, we're going to very gently slip them together. Don't try to force this joint or you'll damage the foam. Just very gently push one end in and then the other. Keep alternating until the two wing halves are fully joined. Now it's together, but we need to make a few more tabs in this middle joint to keep it from sliding apart easily. Now cut a center slit in the very middle of the overlapped section. This approximately half inch wide here. You're going to be right in the middle of it. Cut a slit about one quarter inch deep. Do the same on the other side. And now we need to make a few more slits. Make them just to the outside of the overlap sections. Again approximately one quarter inch deep and square to the edge of the foam. Now we're going to go ahead and bend these tabs. These on the overlapping portion are going to be bent down and here will be bent up. Now I cannot pull this wing apart without actually wrecking it. Let's kick it up another level and add some fins and engine housings to your planes. I'm going to take these two tail fins here, lay them directly on top of each other, lining up all the edges. And now I'm going to cut a slot into these fins, approximately 3 8 deep. And now I need to cut another one very close to that first one, no bigger than the thickness of the foam. Now just like the tail fins and the engine housings, you're going to cut short slots into the surface of the wings like so. Now just like the center wing joint, the fins and the engine housings fit together with simply a friction fit. No glue, no tape, no magnets are required. Be very gentle so that you don't damage these joints. And there you have it. Now you see how to make an awesome, bigger, badder walk-along glider. You can even make a modular board to fly your modular walk-along gliders. Oh yeah!